blissfulness and centeredness choosing blissfulness brings strength rootedness and centeredness misery makes you more and more important it is a kind of negative emptiness one simply feels useless and meaningless then in fact one does not live instead he only vegetates such is the story of millions of you they all live in misery and to live in misery is to live in hell or not to live at all hell is not somewhere else certainly it depends on you you can live in it right now or you can transcend it definitely it is your choice but the choice is such that you cannot make it once instead you have to make it every moment every moment a circumstance and situation comes you can swing towards the hell or you transcend you make it once and then go to sleep you cannot do that you have to be alert and watchful because each moment each moment these are the two alternatives available to be miserable or to be blissful you see a person on the road you see a circumstance you see someone give you a bad drive there are two alternatives to be miserable or to be blissful and you become whatsoever you choose try to act one day try to be miserable and see what happens choosing blissfulness brings a strength rootedness and ultimately centeredness it gives you an inner plenitude and fullness this does not mean that misery disappears the world goes on living in misery and you are in that world you are surrounded by miserable people they are like the dark clouds not even a silver line in them however it no more touches you or influences you this does not mean that misery has disappeared the world goes on living in misery and you are in that world and you are surrounded by miserable people and they are all like dark clouds not even a single silver line is there however it does not touch you or influence you in any way because you have transcended by your own choice you have gone beyond it no more has any impact on you you remain in the world of misery and miserable people and yet you are ever know this state as of blissful centeredness you are centered in your bliss life can never be just a bed of roses the roses comes with thorns life is duality it is night and death birth and death summer and winter happiness and unhappiness remember by blissfulness i do not mean being happy happiness is another polarity of unhappiness the happy person is bound to become unhappy sooner or later similarly the unhappy person will become happy again and this is a vicious circle that goes on it is like a wheel and you go on moving in the same circle again and again by your own efforts you have to come out of this blissfulness is sent transcendence and to revolving in this wheel in this circle of duality life and death good and bad happiness and sorrow is known as the wheel that buddha talked about 
you have to make your own effort to come out of this wheel, come out of this cycle, come out of this state of duality. Blissfulness is transcendence. Certainly seeing duality of life and constant conflict of polarity, one becomes only a witness. These polarities are conflicting and continuously plague your awareness. Once you become a witness, the world remains the same, but you do not remain the same. The commuters on the road, the people walking on the street, workers working in the offices remain the same. The seasons remain the same. Now this does not affect you. The world remains the same, but you are no more the same. Now you live in the same world, but you are a totally different person. You are reborn. That is exactly the definition of initiation, a rebirth and the beginning of, the, of a new process, new process of witnessing. Let this be your watchword. Let this be your guide, your way, your aspiration each finite moment. Life will attain new meaning and in that meaning one day transcendence will happen.